Good morning, everyone. I'm Debbie with Homeschooling Dietitian Mom and Nutrition for Body and Soul. Iron deficiency anemia. It is a big problem, especially in children, the elderly, and pregnant women. Why is it such a problem? Well, with children, it's because of the fact that many children are on the bottle longer than a year and they continue to drink whole milk, which is recommended, but in the bottle, they tend to get too much. Why am I talking to you about this? Why is it important? Because of its impact on your health. So what exactly is anemia? Anemia is basically when your body doesn't have enough healthy red blood cells in your veins and arteries. And as a result, not enough oxygen is being transferred through the body. And as a result, <laughs> there you go. I'm supposed to be smiling. Okay. Anyway, what was I saying? Okay. So, <laughs> it's supposed to be serious. I can't be serious. I'm looking around. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was my son, by the way. Um, and anyway, so um, basically, you know, there's not enough oxygen getting into your brain and getting into the places where it needs to go. And so most often a person who has anemia will be very tired, more tired than normal, because I know a lot of, I'm pretty much all of us are tired nowadays. Huh? Um, the, you know, there are several different types of anemia and specifically the iron deficiency, excuse me, I meant to say vitamin deficiency anemias. Include vitamin E, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, folate, and then iron. There are other types of anemia, but these are the ones that are related to diet and what you eat and don't eat. And since it is um, so common, then you are likely to know somebody or have been in clinic in your past. So um, if you suspect that you have anemia and the ways that you will know is you will have headaches, you will have just going to look it up because I seem to always go draw a blank. Um, chest pain, rapid heartbeat, shortness of breath, cold hands and feet, inflammation or soreness of the tongue, poor appetite, especially in infants and young children, headache, dizziness, lightheadedness, brittle nails, and the most scary one of all is unusual cravings for non-food items such as ice, dirt, and... Um, starch deter, you know, detergent, which is a very common in children that are anemic. Um, and the term is called PICA, P-I-C-A. So um, those are some of the, the main symptoms of iron deficiency. So if you suspect that your children or you or anyone in your family might have iron deficiency, I strongly encourage you to reach out to your healthcare provider and ask them if you could be tested or if they could be tested. Um, with children, especially it's concerning because, um, iron deficiency and any other kind of iron, any other, any other kind of anemia can result in long-term health consequences, including mental retardation. It affects your, um, immune system and you might get sick more often. So if you would like to know more about anemia, I am here. Type in hashtag anemia in the comments and I would be glad to get back to you. Thanks so much for your time. Sorry, I'm trying to find my...